Hey, welcome back to Tone 26 TV. Today I'm going to make some sauteed cabbage um, with roasted garlic chicken smoked sausage. I actually picked this up from Kroger. I'm going to start by preheating my skillet. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of grapeseed oil. I always cook with grapeseed oil because it's a lot healthier. It has a high heating point and it has more uh, healthy fats than normal oils. All right, so I put two tablespoons of the grapeseed oil. And once again, also, grapeseed oil also has a high heating point to stop smoking up the kitchen when you're cooking. All right, I'm gonna cut up my sausage. Gonna use half that sausage. I'm gonna cook the sausage and minced garlic, and I'm gonna cut up some onions as well. So I'll cut up an onion, uh, one fourth of an onion, and some scallion. Once again, my stove is preheating, heating up that oil. I'll throw the chicken in first. I'm trying to cut my chicken into like one fourth pieces. Uh, so half and cut that in half again. To the side. And you want to set the stove, or actually skillet, to medium to high heat. Put that to the side. Rinse my knife off. I'm going to cut up my onions. All right, give me another cutting board. Bottom part off, cut the top part off, and cut it right down the middle in half. And I'm gonna use about one fourth of this onion. And I'll put the rest to the side. Throw these end pieces away. Finally cut up, take the top part off. All right, go ahead. That's one fourth of an onion. 
Have my chicken sausage over here to, to the side. All right, so I'm gonna throw this in the skillet with my grapeseed oil. And my onions. onions, my chicken sausage, I'm going to add my garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, saute this up until the onions begin to get a little soft, about, about four minutes. That's cooking over medium to high heat. I'm gonna bring my cutting board back and I'll cut up my cabbage. Rinse my knife off real quick. And I'll cut up my cabbage. By the time I finish cutting up the cabbage, I can remove the meat from the skillet. All right, I have my cabbage. I want to. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. All right, I'm only going to use half of this cabbage. I'll take, uh, I guess I'll take the big half. I'm going to take off the, the outer portion. Throw that away, and I'm going to cut out the core right here you don't want to leave the core so go ahead and cut the core out throw that away make sure you check on the meat i'm going to turn that down a little bit to low to medium Cut up my cabbage. Pretty much want to cut it into bite sized pieces. All right, I'm gonna put that in the bowl. Cut up the rest of my cabbage. Once again, I'll make sure they're in bite-sized pieces. scallions check on the meat Make sure ain't nothing's burning over here all right I won't cook with about two stalks of this scallion take me a wet napkin to clean the scallions with Cut the bottom part off. And I cut the very top part off. And the rest is going to go into the cabbage. So I have two stalks right here.
I put that in with the cabbage. And I'll cut up one more for garnishment at the end, make it look nice. meat and my onions pretty much about done I'm gonna go ahead and remove that all right so that's the sausage and the sauteed onions I'm gonna add at the end Just put this into the bowl. I'll put it to the side. Now my skillet. I have my scallions and my cabbage. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more scallions to that lace. All right, so I'm putting that over low heat. And I have me a little chicken broth. I'm gonna add only three tablespoons to my cabbage and scallions. Because the cabbage has so much water in it anyway. So it's All right, so that's three tablespoons of my chicken broth. Like I said, I want to add some more scallions to that. Rinse that off. I'm going to wipe this off. Cut the bottom part top part, cut up the rest. And I'm going to turn my cabbage to medium to high heat. Start that cooking process with the cabbage and I'm going to cover it up. rest of the scallions to, to my cabbage. All right, now I'm going to add the rest of my salt to my cabbage. Rest of my salt, rest of my pepper. Garlic powder, onion powder. All right, I can hear the cabbage frying up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down to medium heat and get it all mixed up. As soon as I start hearing it frying, I'm going to go ahead and put the top on my cabbage and let it cook down when it starts softening. I will add the, the chickens and the, the onions that have been sauteing. All right. Hey, I'm back. The alarm is going off. It's been about 25 minutes, actually about 30 minutes. I sauteed the cabbage for 25 minutes and I added the meat and the onions for the last five minutes and, and cooked with the top off. 
All right, it's probably hard for you to see the meat, but I'm gonna plate the cabbage and sausage now. Go ahead and turn the stove off. Go ahead and get that plated for you. So once again, I cooked it for 25 minutes, stirring occasionally with the top on. And then for the last five minutes, I took the top off and brought the sausage and onions to the cabbage. All right, here we go. Get a better view of that. All right, so there we go. That's it. I'm gonna add a little bit of scallions with presentation. Uh, and that's it. There we go.